Hello again. I'm delighted to uh, review today's book, which is Fighting Strength by Max Beddo. This book was um, passed on to me by uh, Damien Woods, who's a top uh, Goju instructor in Liverpool, who thought I might be interested in um, doing this review, and I certainly am, um, because it's, it's a really, really good book. And the first thing about it that struck me and surprised me is that the foreword was written by Terry O'Neill. Uh, and the reason that's surprising is I remember back in the day, Fighting Arts magazine was going to go into the business of publishing books. It only ever published one. And for this main reason is that it was the biography of Harada Sensei and Terry was writing the foreword. And I was in his flat one day and he pulled out his notes and he had been working on it for several months, actually longer than the author of the book had taken over the manuscript. And he asked me to help. And he wanted to use uh, a sentence to describe uh, Harada Sensei. And I, I said, foremost authority. And he went, foremost authority, top expert most respective sensei and he kept going and he, he, he came and he's most respected sensei foremost authority he just paraphrased everything into a loop um terry is a perfectionist and it's great when you're perfecting your skills uh, to become a champion which he did uh, especially in kata uh, being a perfectionist uh, is essential uh, however, w when you have the idea that there is the perfect sentence, the perfect way of saying something, it can be a problem and it slows everything down. Anyway, that aside, the book uh, covers the uh, sp specific strength training uh, from uh, Goju kar Karate. So uh, it's long uh, been known that uh, Goju uh, has a lot of strength and power training associated with it because some other systems don't so some systems uh, in the past uh, <clears throat> uh, dismissed this kind of training nowadays i think most styles do use equipment and train for strength uh, however the training in uh, goju the hojo undo is very specific and it really supports and complements the, the striking techniques uh, very, very well. And for example, uh, Pat Mack, the former Delta Force uh, soldier who has his combat strength uh, training program, makes a point that a lot of workouts neglect the transverse plane, uh, which is so uh, essential for fighting. However, uh, Goju with the Hojo Ondo does address this and all planes of motion um, and in a very, very task related way. <clears throat> the, the Hojo Ondo supports the striking very, very well and builds up ligament strength and joint strength and so on as well. The book starts off with uh, body weight exercises with, with a partner and then builds up to use the different forms of equipment. The tan, which is a barbell with a, uh, a thick shaft, which is used for exercise, but also for you throw it and catch it on your arms and it gets you used to shock impact on the arms and conditions the arms, this kind of thing. The Congo Ken, which is unique to Goju. Um, and <clears throat> one of my favorites was always the Chishi. And the reason being the Chishi <clears throat> excuse me uses leverage um, so you don't need a tremendous weight on the end of it because the leverage puts uh, puts a force on on the joints and you manipulate in various ways and it builds up arm strength uh, very very well so you've got all those devices and there's a big section on impact training <clears throat> and the uh, which includes a quote from Terry on the importance of Makiwara in bag training. And I, I, I can't agree more because uh, I remember back when we were 
first doing the bodyguard courses and I always used to bring uh, a kick pad along and have the guy strike it and I remember one chap and he was a black belt in Shotokan and uh, he bounced off the, the pad he, he, he couldn't strike uh, properly at all and uh, there were other people in the class with no formal training at all were, were really wailing into it and to his credit he went away and he came back on a subsequent course and was hitting with real authority because he he had incorporated uh, impact training uh, into his workouts and he bought a bag so um, they're very widely available and there's no reason not to do it and if you're not doing impact training uh, if you're in any kind of fighting art then uh, you're missing out and in, indeed it was Terry I think who first introduced it way back in the day he brought a, a strike pad from the LAPD Academy this is when you couldn't buy any of that kind of stuff over here and he used to use it with his guys anyway the book has very high production values um, Max Bedo is a very senior uh, Goju uh, black belt instructor uh, the photographs are very very clear uh, and the modeling uh, of the techniques uh, including mainly by the author um, show really really impressive form uh, I can't recommend this book enough I was very impressed with it he has written another book uh, which I've got and I, I will be reviewing uh, in the future but if, if you're interested in any kind of um, fighting art training this is the book you should get.